So an amazing thing I uh, found uh, on my phone uh, the last few weeks is the fact that Google is now respecting timestamps uh, from YouTube videos. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, just looking at uh, my uh, video here that was put up uh, the other day, you notice I have now these uh, time areas, these time stamps that I have in my video that are being shown uh, and really directs people to various parts of the video. Now, this obviously again gets uh, really a, a much uh, more efficient way of getting to various parts or chapters of your video. But at the same time, it's uh, really easy to do and it also will increase uh, how Google views the video uh, and how your users interact with it, which is only a good thing from an SEO point of view. So today we're going to see particularly how you can add those timestamps in YouTube. We're also going to see how you can um, add timestamps uh, via links. Uh, we'll also see how you can add timestamps in your YouTube comments. So hopefully this will be a really useful ultimate guide to how timestamps can be used in Google itself. So let's see how you can first of all get these timestamps uh, found within the Google results. Now, uh, as you notice, um, I have a video here and I've been writing some comments. And what I want to do now is I want to uh, add some timestamps to this particular area. So um, what I'll do first of all is um, there's no particular um, reason to put something to tell Google uh, that it's a timestamp, but I've just put timestamps below to guide you through the video. And what I've done is I've just produced a couple already um, that are quite useful to, to add in. And the simple way to do it is literally to just type in, which I'll just uh, type in here, um, the minute and the seconds as to where the introduction is and so on. The way to do this, of course, is just to go to your uh, uh, YouTube video and uh, to go through parts of the video. When you get to a bit like here, I'm talking about uh, the code. Um, so at this point here, I can pause it and you notice here it's two minutes 11. And so that can be then what I uh, use uh, as the uh, place to reference uh, the time when I start sharing or show how to share the video in this scenario. So what I've done here is I've, I've uh, 219 embed the iframe code. I'm just going to fill in the rest of these and then you'll see how it looks. So um, it's quite a short video actually. So there's not a huge amount, but I've just put these through in. So here we go. The, um, the references here at the beginning and at this time, at this particular moment, there's no particular links. I've done nothing. It's just literary text that's added. Um, but making sure you use the uh, colon for the timestamp. Uh, when I first started using a dot, uh, it didn't pick it up. So you make sure that it's a colon. So here's the minutes, uh, here's the seconds. Uh, if you if it was a one hour in, then you would put uh, one and then the four and then the O one. But uh, so using again a, a colon, but in this case, we don't have that. And then you can update that. And uh, when it's updated, uh, then it will appear below, which uh, I've already done here. And that's then how it works. And the links are here. So at 3.42, um, we have the proof of the YouTube not being responsive. I click that and it shows there uh, how YouTube isn't responsive um, in this video. So it just takes you straight there. Um, if you want to see how to embed the code in this video, it takes me straight to the point where we start embedding it into WordPress. So we're not obviously interested in what this video is about. Uh, it may interest you and obviously you can then uh, find out more by clicking on that particular video. But what we're doing here at the moment is just understanding how these links are picked up by YouTube and jump the user around. Now, once you have those links, let's just pause that. Uh, once you have those links um, already referenced in your YouTube um, description, then this will be picked up by Google. And in effect, then what happens is uh, if it's a video that's popular, then it will then be shown uh, as an option when you then type into Google uh, a particular search keyword. When the video comes up, uh, you then get these search uh, timestamps as well. And uh, this is kind of interesting because from an SEO point of view, um, Google's now really rewarding, again, this type of interactivity using timestamps. So timestamps appear that uh, when they're underneath uh, the results, then they're going to help the user to find the appropriate part of the video. It also has SEO benefits because it implies to YouTube that you've made it more user friendly. And also YouTube, no doubt, uh, where it ranks 
uh, retention and viewing time, then in effect this counts as two viewings because the first click takes you to the video and then it then directs you to the section of the video that you've clicked on. So in effect it shows the user twice, uh, It gets a, which will again count as two viewings, which obviously helps towards the viewing figures on your YouTube, which will go towards uh, ranking the video higher. So it's uh, helping the users, which obviously Google wants to support. So timestamp hyperlinks are really important for YouTube videos uh, and probably are going to be rewarded even more in the coming months. That's uh, generally the thinking amongst those that do SEO. So let's just go for a couple of other little things that, to make this the uh, real ultimate guide when it comes to how we can do this. There's a few other things we can do as well. What we can do is uh, if we go to the top of uh, this page here, if we wanted to just um, send someone to a particular part of our video, then what we can do is we can just add um, a, a, an and, and then um, t, and then how many seconds into the video. So what I've done is and t equals 28 seconds. And if I now press enter, so at the moment we're on 158, but if I press enter, you'll see it refreshes it and takes you straight to the 28th part of the video. Uh, if we put that as uh, 48, it'll take us to the 48th second of the video, which you can see there. Uh, if you go beyond a minute, so if you put 78, that should be one minute 17. So let's try that. And it's, sorry, one minute 18, and it is one minute 18 of the video. Um, and that works really for everything. So you can put, if you had a long video, you could put uh, whatever the uh, seconds are in the video. But it also works other ways as well. So you can put, for instance, one minute, uh, eight seconds, which would be 68 seconds into the video. But you can use the 1M and that will work as well. There you go, one minute eight, which is right. Um, if it says an hour, you could even put, there isn't an hour's video, but you could then put uh, one, I say it's two hours in, well, not that you're gonna get that, but say it's one hour, uh, one minute, and eight seconds into the video, then that would work too. Uh, you can, so you can do one minute that way. You could do it via just minutes. You can do it by seconds. You can really do whatever you want. Google now, or YouTube now, it's owned by Google, has fully understood how these things work and how you can uh, use various strings. The only other thing to be aware of is we're using and t. The reason we use and t is because we already have a query. Now, if you don't have a query in that string, then you'll need to put, instead of the and, you'd put a query, uh, a question mark or a query. That's worth noting. What I'll do is I'll put a few notes about that uh, in the video so that you can see what we're referring to uh, and also on uh, my website as well. But um, this is has a, a query, so therefore we're continuing to add to that query. Um, the reason why uh, that might be more important is if you were to actually embed the uh, YouTube video. So uh, we've already got a video of how to embed the video, but in effect, if you go to share, um, let's say I was starting it here from a part of the video, you notice that what it does, it converts it into uh, seconds. So if it was uh, two minutes uh, 16, then it would convert it to 136 seconds. So obviously by default, Google uses uh, seconds, but um, you can get away with minutes, M for minutes and H for hour. But you notice here as well, rather than using the AND or the ampersand, uh, because this is a short code, then it uses the uh, the first question marks. It's the first query to that particular uh, reference. Uh, and that's uh, the same if you go to embed it and you then click here, then again, it's, uh, it puts a question mark, it actually puts question start. So that's the bit there, start. 76, that's what it picks up there. Um, and again, converts to the seconds. So don't worry about converting to seconds. You can put one hour or one minute or whatever it is needed if that uh, is your preference as well. But hopefully that will make some sense as well to you. So I think that really concludes then we, what we've looked at is we've looked at how to add a timestamp to your YouTube video using a link and then using a question mark or an ampersand at the end. We've also seen uh, how you can add a timestamp to your YouTube video in general. And we've also seen how you can add um, a timestamp using whether it's seconds, minutes or hours. One of the other things you can do just as a final thing is if you were wanting to say, um, 
uh, in a comment. So if you're adding to a comment somewhere and I just wanted to say uh, uh, particularly, uh, you know, check out um, the, um, the second um, benefit in my video. And let's say after watching that, it came um, two minutes and um, you know, 30 seconds into the video. You can just do the 230. You can press comment and that now is a link and at the moment we're on 116 uh, but if i click that now i can take them to 2 minutes 30 in my video so again you can use um you can use timestamps even in comments which is really useful if you wanted to perhaps make a comment about something in the video